everybody welcome back to Suzanne showcasing VR today I am going to unbox a VR cover which in this um, current climate hygiene is of high importance especially if you are sharing your virtual reality headset cleanliness and hygiene is of paramount concern so I have this VR uh, face replacement um, to unbox and test and review so let's see what our thoughts are so I've very kindly um, been given a cover from Kiwi Design so thank you very much to the team at Kiwi Design for sending this across um, I've not had any additional separate accessories like a VR cover before I've always used wipes um, and made sure that I've cleaned down the headset after every use so this is going to be very useful indeed I just want to see how quick and easy it is to to use it fit them what's it like for wiping clean and most importantly get a replacement on my headset so that I can while I'm putting my original Oculus Quest cover and face bit in the washing machine to get cleaned, um, I can still use my Quest, which is really quite cool. Just imagine after all of those sessions in Beat Saber, the amount of sweat that generates is pretty minging. And then, as I said, if you are sharing your virtual reality headset with the general public um, or just anybody, even your family members, it is worthwhile having an accessory like this so that you're able to change it, keep it regularly clean. So this is the packaging. It's quite a big box, but as we can see, this is just paper. And this is actually what we have here. The Kiwi design. Oculus Quest facial interface bracket and face cover pad set. So that's what we're after. It's a nice sleeve and just a normal box. If I can get it open. <laughs> I'm never very good at these unboxing videos, am I? Let's just rip it. And this is what we are after here. All that packaging for this. So, what we have then, the main plastic holder that is going to fit inside the Quest here. And then we have two different foam inserts, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And the material of these, so this is plastic and it's going to clip in using these, if you can see them. I can't really see it. There you go. You've got wee clips here for clipping in. That's your nose piece. And then you've got the foam with the Kiwi design on it. And it's got faux leather on the outside and it's like felt type material on the inside so that's really good so let's see just clip this on I imagine it's inside out and I'm not quite sure how it secures itself oh it just sticks perfect so it's like velcro then that's how it's sticking on that's really good this side a bit squinty let's fix that and then I will show you what I've done velcro is really really good you know okay there we are 
so it's a, a good thickness it's nice and soft and spongy yeah feels nice and cool to the face ideal and it also comes with um like a cover so when you're not using your um oculus quest and you've switched it off this will act like a dust guard type thing just to keep it clean i'm sure that's how it works and then you've got a replacement what's this nose all oh, right okay so that's a bit of material that goes over the nose piece imagine that's to block out the light sometimes i do get that with the quest and the original face um, cover is that just at my nose um i do see light uh, coming in from underneath my nose area so that's really good and then of course you've got your manual in the box as well PU leather memory foam anti-leakage nose pad it's double-sided high elastic fabric and then the lens covers high density sponge and lycra so that's the lens cover which is cool and then it comes just in all different languages how to install it just english bit hold on <laughs> how to install take off the original facial interface brackets assemble our facial interface bracket to the vr headset let's take this out so you just pull this and it comes off And just stuck at the top there we are so there you just pull that out and that's the original oculus quest face part and this is the kiwi design one so they're exactly the same the same bits at the top that clips in the same plastic mold and then obviously with the oculus quest i should be able to pull this facial thing off and wash it or maybe not maybe that doesn't come off there so i just need to wash all that which will be good okay so we've taken that off let's put this in so let's get the top bit in first finding the clips clip clip maybe not Excellent. So it does come out a little bit, that's fine. Just as the normal, I guess. I would have thought this could have tucked in, but maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna try it without the nose piece. So I think I've clipped the bottom bit in perfectly, but the top one is in, just didn't hear it click. Fits nice and snug, looks okay. And I'm gonna just try it on without the nose bit. In case that feels good. That feels nice and comfortable. Yeah, that's, that'll do the job. And then if I try the nose bit. Attach the anti-leakage nose pads to the nose part of the facial interface bracket via Velcro. Okay, so I've just taken that off. There's just a little bit of cardboard there. So I just put it in with the Velcro. Sticky, sticky. Might have just done that upside down, you know. I'll see. Right, I'm going to try it. I think I've put it in upside down. <laughs> no. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. So that it's a little shelf. A little shelf for your nose yeah, let's try that that's going to be cool so that's nice i can already tell that that's going to be great that is good so that blocks out most of the light a lot more light than previously it's a bit tickly though i need to check i've got that on right to be honest i'm not even sure i want that but 
I'm not sure I want to put that bit on. I mean, it's great. I get the idea to block out the light and it's really good because you do sometimes get the light. But to be honest, we've had this since May. I'm used to that. Uh, I'm kind of used to that. It doesn't break my immersion. I still get involved in VR and uh, experiences. And I just get worried that this, if I have this on and people are breathing through it, obviously with um, the pandemic at the moment, we're conscious about breath and air at the moment. I don't think I'm going to put that on my headset, but it's good to have in case there's any experience where the light uh, leakage is ruining or affecting that experience and how I'm feeling in that. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put this in its little plastic bag and keep it for safekeeping, I think. The main thing for me was the VR cover and being able to keep it clean and hygienic for sharing with everybody and that's exactly what it is. I just now have this kind of leather, full leather type um, material. It's easily wiped down now, which is brilliant. So thank you very much to Kiwi Design for this. Um, in the next part of the video, I will test it and see how we get on. Well, that was really good. I felt really comfortable. I'm absolutely sweating. I've played a couple of um, rounds of Beat Saber and was, the mask was very, the replacement was very comfortable. No warmer than it would usually with the Quest face pad. Um, it doesn't even feel sweaty as my normal one would. So all that requires now is just a wee wipe down with um, a cleansing wipe or something that doesn't have um, alcohol in it ideally some sort of hygienic standard sanitized wipe um, and that's you that's all it requires so it's a big thumbs up from me uh, I really like it and um, it's optional whether you want to have the nose guard to block the light out yourself that's totally your choice but it does come with it and um, so yeah I am very pleased with that I am going to keep that on my Oculus Quest going forward and I'm really pleased to have an option um, that is easy to clean and a replacement so that I can keep using my VR headset whenever I need. Um, just want to mention as well uh, that I do have the Kiwi Design uh, Oculus controller grips too. I still have these, I still use them on my controllers all the time. Uh, I know I've not done a video um, in a long time and you haven't seen these, I don't think, um, since I put the video out, but they have still been on my uh, controllers. I think they're great um, and it's really useful. I, previously, before, when I didn't have this and I had the normal default Oculus Quest controller strap, I found that the battery pack kept opening up and it was annoying, especially in Boot Saber when you're doing fast hand movements and things. Whereas since I've had these, that's never happened. And actually, uh, the Kiwi Design team have created a more up-to-date or innovated this a little bit better um, so that it doesn't cross over the buttons, because um, my one does. I'll be honest, it's never interfered in any of my VR apps or experiences. I've never got angry with it for anything. I've never noticed them. I've just they've been comfortable. It does the job. I'm happy. So even if you have the older version, it'll still work. Um, I've not tried the newer version, but I imagine it'd be just the same, but avoiding your buttons. So yeah, that's it. So the Kiwi Design face replacement um, pads and nose cover, um, thumbs up from me. I, like, they are really useful and I have no complaints. Thank you. See you next time.